Yo, what's up everybody and welcome to a new feature video. And as you will see behind me, I have a Seeker FD2 Type R. Let's check it out. this absolutely amazing car behind me is i mean they're very special to me anyway if anybody's ever checked out my channel you'll know i'm an absolute honda nut and i recently met this guy he came down to my meet in it and he was like you should uh check out what we do so i did checked out r2 automotive and i've got dave join me on camera dude i've got dave <laughs> with doing? me today and he is the owner of this car and we're going to delve into it right now so dave dave's joined me down here today at the yard at the unit and we're going to check out his absolutely insane car so dave where do we start man like what obviously we've got this this front end <laughs> should we talk yeah. about this yeah this is not your usual front end on an fd2 no so this is a seek front end a lot wider, as you can see. A lot wider. So the, what this really consists of is front bumper, front wings, and a bonnet. I and guess. a bonnet, yeah. 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 Um, bonnet you have to pay separately, but yeah, you normally if you buy the whole end, it comes with the wings and the front bumper. So. Cool. Walking around it, should we have a little wander around? Yeah, let's go. Wanna follow us around here. Are you okay, mate? <laughs> <laughs> um, Enki PF ones. Runs, yeah. Um, great looking wheel. What sizes are we running on here? Uh, so it's nine and a half jet front. Uh huh. Uh, running a two six five thirty five eighteen front tire. And so what do you run federal RSRs. Yeah, yeah, that's. You used to like them, didn't you? Yeah, I used to. Like yeah, 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 they're not, they're not bad to be honest. Yeah. I, I took a bit of brands and they've been doing pretty good tire to be cool. fair. Yeah, good money for what they are. Yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. So we've got um, the PFO ones wrapped yeah, in the then RSRs. Then we've got uh, obviously just a standard Brembo four pot brakes, mm -hmm. uh, Project Move pads and Dixel discs. Nice, nice. Um, I've heard very so good things that. about them Dixel discs. Oh, rate them, hundred percent, rate them. Round the back here. What we're looking at, we've got Jay's racing exhaust. Yeah, Jay, Jay's oh, racing exhaust. That. That's some eyes right there. <laughs> we haven't even talked spec list, and I know. Got the Jay's racing, I'm going to say 60R. Yeah? yeah. RS? R. Yeah, yeah. So 60R, is it RS or R? RS. So it is the 60 RS yeah, system yeah. on there, yeah. Um, uh, Mugen rear wing. Yep. Uh, Very nice. Mugen wind deflectors. Very nice. Um, and then, yeah. Is this Nighthawk black? Oh, I think it is, yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I come think it's Nighthawk yeah, black. Yeah. Well? So this is the color that a lot of people will know from EP3s. So the it's like a Honda metallic black with like blue and yeah. Like, it's got a little bit green in there. So it's mainly blue. Yeah, it's got speckle, yeah like yeah. sparkly rainbow finish. So on the outside, real murdered out look, which makes this car really mean because normally these yeah. come in um, white. Isn't yeah, it? mainly white. White. So, white. Um, so. Really, really nice looking thing. I did notice once we got because he trailered this down. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, really? <laughs> trailered this yeah, down. Professional. So uh, hey, come around here real quick. Is this a facelift or a pre-facelift? Because I know Face, the rear lights yeah. are different, right? So yeah, yeah. What's the difference? Facelift. Uh, like LED. So, so these the got LED, the LED, LED lights, lights yet? Yeah. yeah. So uh, facelift. There you go. I would prefer the LEDs to be honest. I think LEDs always look. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so I noticed when we get in here, if we get Pete to poke his uh, head in, we can talk. In there, you've got Mugen yeah. gear knob and the Mugen gauges up the very yeah, top. That's it, yeah. Yeah, um, really, really smart bit of kit. Did that come all fitted in the car? Yeah, all come, everything, yeah. So, should we uh, pop the hood a little bit? Now? Yeah, let's have do it. Look, uh, you'll pull out to change. <laughs> what have we got going on under here? Because you did mention some stuff beforehand and this is not your any old typical Nah, car, so, right? so this, is, so this is a built engine. Um, so we've got uh, spoon oversized pistons, We've got Jun cams, total valve springs, uh, total chain, uh, total tensioner, RRC intake manifold, We've got a spoon sump, uh, Mugen airbox and intake, um, just little things like Odyssey battery, uh, oil catch can. Um, then with the gearbox, we've got a Cusco plated diff. Um, Cusco. Oh, this is like a spec list of dreams. <laughs> That's it. Uh, a Cusco um, clutch and carbon synchro gears. Um, and then from that, we've got a spoon sports exhaust manifold, obviously, and then going from the Jays Racing exhaust. Sick. So I have to, yeah. I have to be honest, he let, me, he let me get off the trailer and I revved it so high because it revved so fast, so quick. Went, yeah. ah! I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually um, 
got this off Shah Motorsport, who imported it exactly like this. Uh -huh. Like, I'm they get gonna, some really nice cars. In yeah, it. like honestly, this. To be fair, we look after the majority of their cars down at our place, um, and this coming for an alignment. Uh, and the funny story was, I was actually building a K24 Honda Jazz right. at the time because um, I like the Jays Racing one. And this come in, and I kind of like looks at the Jazz and looks at this, and I was like. Mm. I can't think I might put my money in this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> let's just put this bonnet down. Do we have to just drop it normally? Does it yeah, yeah, just drop it normally, yeah, it'll be fine. Wow, it's so light. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> um, if we just like stand back and look at the car for a second, it is so menacing. As far as like, as far as Civic Type R's go, like this is a mean ass looking car. I love how these front fenders look. I love this front bumper. Now, I caught about, when did I go to Japan? 2015? I went to Japan and I actually visited Sika and I mm -hmm. saw they had a silver one, I think, and their orange one. And yeah, in yeah. like when you see them, like we are obviously seeing it in real life. And what do you guys think? We've got two guys. Like it looks mega, right? Like it's so aggressive. And like because normally these are quite thin cars. You know, they're quite thin, streamlined. Yeah, yeah. This is so aggressive, and you use this on track as well. Yeah, it, the main purpose is pretty much track, to be honest. Mm. Just track, and then every now and again, I do I do take it out for a blast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I don't, I don't drive it too much, to be honest. Um, it's a little bit too loud. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, yeah. Be, I'll be totally honest. No, it's, it's cool, man. I think it's super, super sick. I mean, we kind of had a little look around it. Have you, have you missed anything? Like, is there anything I haven't mentioned? No, I don't. It's um, pretty much standard interior, apart from the gauges and bits and bobs. Um, other than that, that's, that's pretty much. I mean, how what's it is. left is to, uh, is to go out. Anyway. Take it out. Yeah. yeah I think we should, uh, we should hop in, and we've got. Uh, if I just take the camera, people can see who's with us. Um, okay. <laughs> so we have uh, we've got Pete and Richard all here and Pete's B18C. So we're going to have some uh, some cool little, uh, not not racing, <laughs> but we're going to have a cool little time going out with the Hondas. And yeah, awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. Whoa, car VTEC in second field. Oh. <laughs> so Dave, you're in the, in the car. Yeah, man. So. When did you buy this thing? How long have you had it for? I've had it a year. I got it off Sharmark Sports. Yep. So uh, we do a lot of work for them uh, regarding like alignments and just checking the cars over, et cetera, et cetera. I was building a K24 Jazz and this come in and I was like two and two. Mm. I want to buy the FD. You know, you can't, you yeah. know, it was one of them things. It was like a C1 with like this front end and this spec and I was like, I've got to buy it. So yeah, cool, man. Kind of ditched the Jazz off and bought this. Definitely. And, uh, <laughs> Any regrets at all? Like, is there anything about it that you hate? Like, what's your favourite thing about ownership of FD2? Because I've never had one of these. Like, I can't like be like, oh, I don't know. I think like, I haven't got no hates. Like, no, no regrets at all with this car, to be honest. Um, I think owning it and like, you know, meeting more people with FD2s because you kind of like, you don't really notice them as much if you're not really looking for them, if you kind of think. Yeah. Um, and then you know, got this and, and met some great friends over it, you know, like with FD2s as well. So yeah. in that in that sense, community is fantastic. Do you know of any other FD2s in the country with the, with the Seeker kit on it? Or is this like because I haven't seen one. No, I haven't I haven't seen one to be honest. Um, the only well I know obviously you've got the Japan Seeker mm -hmm. um, that sold recently. Um, and I think there's one other guy in America that I know has got one. Mm -hmm. um, other than that I haven't really yeah, it's really see. cool, unique mods to yeah, have on yeah. it. I think it's great. And it makes different. it look so aggressive. Um, so aggressive. What are your favourite things about the FT2 chassis and how they drive? And um, Obviously, this one's got different suspension and stuff like that. So, coming from obviously us building other cars, etc., like I've had like EP3s and stuff like that, like this, this car with like the diff, the suspension, everything's like completely, completely like overruns yeah, runs yeah, yeah. EP3 like 100% um, I haven't really driven any standard ones of these um, but this is handling wise and uh, you know I took it to Brands Hatch recently and it's spot on yeah like so, absolutely spot on handling wise what modifications do we actually have on the car right so originally it had it come with uh, Toda Fitech spoil overs uh -huh. um, but I've just taken them off um, and put some brand new Meister R's on uh, so I'm going to get them refurbished just reconditioned and then put them back on mm -hmm. um, and then I've got um, fully polybrushed underneath um, I've got um, Skunk 2 uh, spherical rear camber arms I just put on it and bits of that really so awesome man. and this is predominantly a kind of track car for you right like you, you were saying you do use it on weekends a little bit but yeah I kind of I, I do every now and again I'll get it out and just go for a hoon but 
mainly it's more just for track, you know, track yeah. and show. Just, I think know. it's so cool, man. Like, I, I love the FD2. I love how spacious it is, how big it is, but how incredible they drive yeah, as, as well. Like, I can't say I've ever been behind the wheel of one, but I have been out in them before. Yeah. What is your least favorite thing about the car, though? The noise. The noise, yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, it's so noisy. Yeah, honestly. I mean, it's not too bad now. We're cruising at 70 oh. kilometers, so what's that like? 55 like miles? 50 miles an hour, yeah, yeah, like, something like that. Like, this is okay. I mean, I'm assuming it's horrible at higher revs. Yeah, level. like people say to me, like, why don't you daily it? You just, you just can't. I'm like, not with a plated diff and the yeah. noise and the neighbours. It's like yeah. constant grief. You yeah, know? yeah, definitely. Definitely. Is there any upcoming changes that you plan on it with? Uh, yeah, so I was going down the lines of like turbo, this and that, but I don't think that's the way for this car and its engine at the minute. Um, I'm going to go... ITVs, yeah, like, Ooh, like okay. ITVs. Um, I think that would be the main thing, and then more focus on track. So roll cage, bits and bobs like that. Um, probably change the shifter, like a hybrid racing shifter. Just, just the little touches. Um, mm. But engine wise, it's got to be ITVs. Yeah, that's uh, freaking awesome. So if someone was looking to buy one of these, yeah. what would you say look out for? What are like the negatives you might find, but the definite positives to look out for, like? In my ownership, and to be fair, listening on the forums and stuff, there's not really too much like negativity you know, like, towards these cars. Um, you just got to look out for the main things, like you know, you got rust issues and bits and bobs. Maintenance is a key thing, um, but you kind of find that these cars, when they come over, they're kind of looked after, like, yeah. like Matt, like you know, and then they come over here, and the owners over here look after them like crazy. So yeah, there may be a one and two bad one out there, but I mean, know, these are. And they never have dropped in value, have they? Like, I, like I was saying to you off camera, like these one of the few type cars I've never owned because I was like, yeah, I'll wait for them to get like DC five money, you know, yeah. because I just assumed they would, like everything else. Yeah. But these haven't dipped, and now everything's on the way up. It's like, oh my god, they're getting really expensive. Like, yeah, um, it's, it's, so it's one of them ones. It's like I, like don't be wrong, I, we, I got this at a, you know a good price. Yeah. Um, obviously, I can't thank Shaw, you know, enough. Um, mm -hmm. But I think they're they're just gonna be that kind of car where they're gonna be like just gonna constantly creep up. And it's just going to be my limp. Like you're going to have to be an enthusiast for this car, more you know, to buy one. Yeah. And they're just sitting there going, oh, you know what? I fancy one of them. Yeah, yeah, buy of course. It. Yeah, of course. So, R2 Automotive. Yes. That's you. Yeah, that's us. So, what do you guys do? Where do you guys specialize in? Specialize in? Um, I know we've spoke a little bit about it, but I want the, the audience to know as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. So, so uh, obviously, we started uh, four years ago. It's me, Richard, and Russell. Um, so there's three of us. We started off mainly doing Hondas. We still do Hondas, to be honest. And it kind of the company started with more of like a hobby. Mm -hmm. So you know, Russell's always like had a DC5. He's like the second owner, uh -huh. since new. And Richard, um, he just like loves the K the K series engines. Um, and he actually had a, a K20 MRS, oh, okay. uh, which yeah. is actually building now for wide body and stuff. But that's kind of how the business started off. Um, mainly just doing Hondas and track builds and uh -huh. bits and bobs. And now we're kind of, we do a bit of everything, you know, our kind of, I think the reputation, like, you know, with our customers and, you know, friends and recommendations, it kind of, we built that up to the scale of, you know, we're offering, you know, we do engine builds now, under ceiling, um, corner weighting, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. pretty much anything you need we can do. Awesome. Uh, not just on Hondas, but on pretty much anything. Right, so you've got a lot of good stuff going on over there. So I'll yeah. leave all your details here for people yeah. so they can come and follow you and check out what you're doing. In terms of getting back to this, if you had to say like you had one favorite thing about it, like that it, if like you, that it's left a mark on you, like, wow, this is special, this is magic. Like what is your favorite thing? I think it's got to be the front end. Yeah. Like this car, like it's just different. It's yeah. nice to be different. It's nice to know that you're gonna kind of go to a show or go somewhere, and it's like you know you're gonna be one of the only ones. Yeah, one of the only ones with it. Yeah, man. I think it's I think it's awesome. You got really nice choice mods in it at the minute, and you said roll cage is coming. Yeah, and roll cage. Yeah, ITBs and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna have a race. Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you getting this? Yeah. He cheated! God, these cars fast! <laughs> oh, she picks up in third. Oh my, was that third or fourth? Yeah, it's third. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wait, 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 Richard, what are you saying, Geezer? What do you think about that? 
Oh my god. Wait, Pete's little car is fucking rapping, isn't it? Who's that it's quick. It's going to get it's tripped out the 18 c It's always going to be quick, isn't it? But yeah, man, thank you very much for bringing it down. I, uh, <laughs> no worries. I really, really like it, mate. And um, I think uh, I'll always be a little bit sad that I've missed my opportunity with these. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's cool to see guys like yourself that do have them, that are enjoying it, still planning on doing like the crazy mods, like roll cages and stuff. Like, 100%. I'm cause... not kind of for like this show car. You know, I think like these cars, they're built to be driven. Um, You're my kind of guy. Yeah, yeah it's got, you've got to, you know, you've got to drive them hard. Yeah. You know? And I think the thing is, you can still have a, a driver's car that looks nice. Yeah, exactly. You don't have, they don't have to look exactly. like shit. They, exactly. they can still be built and have a really good presentation to them and enjoyed and maintained. And, That's it. Um, like, like I was saying earlier, if you crash it, you fix it. And exactly. then we go again. Exactly. Uh, you know? Exactly. So, uh, cool. Well, thank you very much for bringing it down. Then. No I worries. It. Cool. Right, so that concludes this video. I really hope you like Dave's FD2 Type R, R2 Automotive. Make sure you check the guys out on Instagram. My final thoughts, really, of the vehicle is, Wow, it's magic. It's so good. I mean, look at the smile on my face. <laughs> it's just so good. So good as a well-rounded machine. And the upgrades that Dave has done have all been focused on the handling. And that just wins my heart. I cannot wait to see the future with this vehicle, ITP's roll cage. He's allowing me to take it around track next. So if I was you, I'd 100% subscribe to this channel because you're gonna get a mad Essex boy in a mad Civic Type R from Japan that's being built by other mad Essex boys. So this is gonna be real good. The only complaint I can find with the car is that A-pillar. It's massive. And when you're hooning it around the back lanes, it does make it a little bit eh, nerve wracking, <laughs> I think I'd say, um, because you can't really see what's coming. But other than that, I can't fault it. And I think that is, uh, actually going to make me go home really sad tonight because the value of these things now is getting quite astronomical and I mean your average Joe like me can't just grab one as a project car really anymore unless you all subscribe to the channel and like the video and give it a little share maybe we'll get there in the end project FD2 on the channel one day with help from R2 Automotive maybe we'll see we'll see I hope you've enjoyed it guys I hope you like the car there's going to be some pictures of this on my Instagram and on the blog on 621.com coming very very soon so make sure you check those out and uh, yeah I'm going to ask you once more please just subscribe if you've enjoyed it if you haven't just just go away and I'll see you hopefully never again right see you later guys peace